uh, for question number six a battery of emf or electromotive force e that is the electromotive force of the battery or the total voltage of the battery that is the emf of the battery and internal resistance r so internal resistances r is connected to a variable resistor of resistance r as shown in figure 6.1 so this is the variable resistor internal resistance the circuit the current in the circuit is i so initially the current in the circuit so the current in the circuit is i and in series circuit we know that the current is same so the current is i therefore the current at this point would also be i that is the current in series is same and the potential difference across the variable resistor is v so for this variable resistor the potential difference is v and the emf we have given that e explain in terms of energy why v is less than e because we know that emf that is e is divided into v that is the potential difference of the resistor plus the voltage across the internal resistance so emf is divided into v and the voltage across the internal resistance and what is the voltage voltage is equal to current into resistance so for internal resistance the current is i and the internal resistance is smaller so current is i and the small internal resistance is smaller there is the voltage for the in internal resistance so emf is divided into internal resistance voltage of the internal resistance plus the voltage of the variable resistor so explain in terms of energy why v is less than e so why this v is less than e because here we can clearly see that voltage emf is divided into voltage plus the voltage across the internal resistance so energy is dissipated in the internal resistance since energy is dissipated in the internal resistance therefore the voltage is obviously less than the internal resistance voltage across the internal resistance so here as energy is dissipated in the internal resistance so obviously this voltage v is less than the emf therefore v is less than the emf now state an equation relating e i r and v so we know that emf is equal to voltage plus voltage across the internal resistance emf is equal to voltage that is v plus the voltage across the internal resistance that is ir that is i smaller so emf is equal to voltage plus voltage across the internal resistance i smaller now the resistance of the variable resistor is varied the variation with current of voltage as shown in figure 6.2 so voltage against current is shown now use figure 6.2 to explain how it may be deduced that the emf of the battery is 2.8 volt so how can we deduce that the emf of the ba battery is 2.8 volt so here we have given the variation of for resistance r we have given the variation of voltage and the current so this graph is for only for resistance r that is capital r we have given the voltage against current graph for capital resistance r or the variable resistor r now explain how it may be deduced that that the emf of the battery is 2.8 volt now here we know the equation that is emf is equal to i small r plus v so emf is equal to i small r plus v and here we can see that the voltage is in, is in y axis and the current is in x axis so we can convert this equation in terms of y is equal to m x plus c where m is the gradient and c is the y intercept so if we just rearrange and make v in terms of y and i in terms of x then v is equal to negative i r plus e so here we can see that v is on the y axis so so first of all we can we have converted this equation in the form of y is equal to mx plus e where the y axis is volt voltage v and the x axis is current i there is this i so if we just further rearrange this equation then it would be v is equal to i minus r plus e so v is on the y axis current on the x axis so y is equal to x that is current in the x axis and the gradient is negative r plus c c is the e that is the emf so the emf that we get is c or the y intercept so the y intercept is c and what is the y intercept it is 2.8 volt so it is clearly 2.8 volt so the emf or the y intercept is 2.8 volt so by using the equation y is equal to mf mx plus c here we can see that the emf or the y intercept is 2.8 volt now calculate the internal resistance r so here we know that the gradient is equal to negative of internal resistance so m is equal to negative internal resistance so what is the value of gradient 
to the gradient is negative of internal resistance so what is the gradient so m is equal to so our initial point is 0 x axis is 0 and the y axis is 2.8 so 0 and 2.8 and let's consider another point that is this point is 1.5 that is the x axis and what is the y axis it is 0 0.7 so 0 0.7 so what is gradient gradient is equal to y2 that is 2.8 minus y1 that is 0 0.7 by x2 so x2 since we consider this as y2 so the x2 is, would be 0 minus 1.5 so since it is 0 minus 1.5 so the gradient that we get is 2.8 minus 0 0.7 by negative of 1.5 so the gradient is negative 1.4 so the value of m is negative 1.4 so m is equal to negative 1.4 and we know that m is equal to negative r so negative r is equal to negative 1.4 so negative and negative cancel and we get the value of r as 1.4 ohm so the value of r as 1.4 ohm so we have calculated the internal resistance now the battery stores 9.8 kilojoule of energy the variable resistor is adjusted so that the v is equal to 2.1 volt use figure 6.2 to calculate the resistance r we need to use figure 6.2 to calculate the resistance R and this graph is for the variable resistor that is this variable resistor now from figure 6.2 so we have given the energy stored in the battery and we have given the value of voltage and we need to calculate the resistance so we know that the resistance is called voltage by current we already know the value of voltage as given so what is current so from this graph for voltage is equal to 2.1 so for voltage that is 2.1 so voltage that is 2.1 from the graph volt when voltage is equal to 2.1 we need to find the current so the current is 0 0.5 so when voltage is 2.1 current is 0 0.5 so voltage by current we get the resistance as 4.2 ohm to do significant figure now calculate the number of conduction electrons moving through the battery in a time of one second calculate the number of conduction electrons moving through the battery in a time of one second so we need to find the number of electrons moving through the battery so again this is the part of question d part 2 so we need to use figure 6.2 so from figure 6.2 we have found that when voltage is equal to 2.1 volt the current is 0 0.5 ampere so we know that current is equal to charge per unit time so current is 0 0.5 so this is not the working at this point so current is equal to charge by time so current is 0 0.5 and charge so charge per minute time and we have given the time as one one second so we know the value of current and the time so what is charge charge is the we need to find the number of electrons so what would be the number of electrons so charge is number of electrons that is number of electrons and the charge for one electron and the charge for one electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb so the overall charge would be the number of electrons since basically if you consider this if you consider let's suppose that for one electron the charge is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and for n number of electrons n electrons what is the charge or what is the total charge the total charge would be 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 into n so for one electron the charge is given that is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb so for n number of electrons what is the charge so 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 into n and here we need to find the number of electrons or the n so the total charge that we get is n into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb so 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 into n where n is the total number of conduction electrons so what is the value of n 0 0.5 by 1.6 so 1.6 into 10 to the power 10 to the power minus 19 so the value of n that we get is 3.125 into 10 to the power 18 so 3.125 into 10 to the power 18 or approximately 3.1 into 10 to the power 18 to two significant figures that is 1 2 so 3.1 into 10 to the power 18 so what we have done this what we have done in this question is that so we know that current is called charge per unit time and we know the value of current that is 0 0.5 that is 0 0.5 from the graph 
so current is 0.5 and the time is one second so what is the charge so we know that for one electron the charge is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb so we need to now calculate charge or what is the expression for charge so for one electron the charge is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb so we need to find the number of electrons number of conduction electrons or n so for n number of electrons what is the charge so charge is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb into n that is the overall charge for n number of electrons so by substituting the value we calculate the value of n as 3.1 into 10 to the power 18 to two significant figures now determine the time taken for the energy of the battery to become equal to 1.6 kilojoule so initially the energy stored in the battery is 9.2 kilojoules now we need to find the time for the energy to become 1.6 kilojoule so what is the difference in energy that is 9.2 minus 1.6 and this is the difference in energy or the decreasing energy so this is a decreasing energy or the change in energy and we need to find the time for this decreasing energy so what is the value of time so for energy or we can say that power is equal to energy per unit time so energy is equal to power into time so we know that power is equal to vi that is voltage into current into time so we have given the change in energy that is the initial energy and the final energy so we know the value of change in energy that is if we subtract initial minus final we get the change in energy and change in energy is equal to voltage into current into time so what is the voltage so so since we are considering the battery so for this battery the emf is or the emf stored in the battery is so we have calculated the value of emf that is reduce the emf of the battery as 2.8 volt so the emf of the battery is 2.8 volt that is from the y axis we can see that the emf is 2.8 volt so for this battery since we are now considering the battery and not the resistor so for the battery the voltage or the emf is 2.8 volt into current so the current in series is always remains the same so whether it is a resistor so the current in series is always remains the same so whether it is a resistor or a battery or the internal resistance the current is always i so the current remains the same and the current that we get for internal resistance for the resistor r that is the resistor r there is 0.5 ampere so 0.5 ampere is for the resistor r or for the whole battery because in series the current is same so the current is 0.5 into time so after calculating we get the value of time as 5.4 into 10 to the power 3 seconds there is approximately two two significant figures as a time for the decreasing energy also it is given that the emf of the battery and the current of the battery remains constant that means we need to use the emf that is 2.8 and the current that is 0.5 since these two values are constant so we need to use these two values to calculate the time for the energy to decrease from 9.2 kilojoules to 1.6 kilojoules by the battery or for the battery so this is the time